Welcome to our channel, and today we'll be presenting you with the most creative answers ever given on a test. Stay until the end to find out the craziest answers someone has ever written on an exam. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on to keep receiving more fantastic content like today. First answer. What ended in 1986? In a history class, you might remember that in 1986, the 335 Years' War ended when on April 17th, the Dutch ambassador visited the Isle of Scilly to sign a peace treaty to the war. When asked during an exam what ended in 1986, this creative child answered with 1895. We only have to wonder how the teacher who created this exam reacted to this answer when he read it. Second place, what's the strongest force on Earth? This test was asking this question for extra credit, considering that the previous answers of the test included sedimentary rock and igneous rock, we can safely assume that, at the very least, this is an elementary school science test. While the answer should have been strong nuclear force, as the strongest force in the Earth and the universe, this kid replied love. Similar to Mahatma Gandhi's quote, Sadly, the teacher wasn't satisfied by that answer and marked the question with a big and fat X, signifying that it was incorrect. Third answer, rewriting in alphabetical order. This preschool kid who was learning the words of the alphabet and his teacher had him organize them during a test to verify that he had properly learned them. He was given the following words to work with, apple, pumpkin, log, river, fox, and pond. He also had six blank spaces in which he had to place every letter in the order their initial letter showed up in the alphabet. The problem is that this kid went the extra mile and not only did he organize them in the order they showed up in the alphabet, but he also rearranged the letters of every word in that order, turning apple into A-E-L-P-P -P and pumpkin into I-K-M-N-P-P-U. We just hope that the teacher who corrected this exam gave him some extra points for creativity because... This kid showed precisely just that. Fourth answer, Chinese immigrant letter. This was probably a history or social studies homework in which the kids were asked to assume the role of a Chinese immigrant from 1870 and write a letter home describing his experience. The letter should include their contributions and experiences in the West. Well, this kid not only replied to the test, but also did so in Chinese. So if the teacher giving the test didn't know much Chinese themselves, then they probably had quite a difficult time correcting the answer. At least they have to give them some extra points for actually writing from the point of view of a Chinese immigrant, by writing in Chinese. Unfortunately, we're unable to translate what he said. Fifth answer, hard and soft water. In this other instance, a student was required to briefly explain what hard water was in a science test. Soft water is treated water in which the only ion is sodium, such as rainwater. However, when water makes its way through the ground and into waterways, it picks up minerals like chalk, lime, and calcium and magnesium, becoming hard water. Since hard water contains essential minerals, it's perfect as drinking water than simple soft water, which usually tastes salty. That's pretty much what this student had to reply if he were to answer correctly. He answered with ice. If you think about it, it kind of makes sense from the point of view of a student. Ice is solid water, after all. While the teacher was definitely not amused by his creative answer, at the very least, he did explain it briefly, but only explaining it in one word. Sixth answer, racism. This science test asked a student to answer with the name of the science of classifying living things. The correct answer should have been taxonomy. The student answered with racism, which kind of makes sense if you think of it in a way. Racism consists in labeling and discriminating living human races, though calling it a science is a bit of a stretch. We know this student will be big on social justice despite not being the best at science. Seventh answer. One slash N. Sin X equals question mark. By far the most hilarious and creative answer to a test wasn't a history or science test, but it was a math one. This student had to solve an equation that reads as 1 above n, sin x equals question mark. How did he solve the equation? Well, he canceled the n in sin with the n below the 1, leaving the equation as 6 in letters, which equals 6. Genius!
These answers probably left all of the teachers baffled, though we can safely say that some of them at least chuckled when they saw their kids answering with them. Well, what do you think of these test answers? Did they make you laugh? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel to receive more fantastic entertainment content like today. We really hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time. Listen.